Well, greetings once again. This time we're talking to you from Adyar. You might have guessed from the crows and all in the background. Uh, first of all, forgive the quality of my voice. I just about lost it completely after a trip up to Delhi recently, which exposed me to quite a bit of uh, extensive, uh, actually record-breaking pollution and some other things. So I'll have this sound for this particular video. But uh, a lot of things to report on this time, mainly the Indo-Pacific Federation meeting, the 13th Triennial meeting, which took place in uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, it was quite an event. Uh, actually, it was over-registered. Many more people wanted to come than were able to, given the uh, accommodations available at the Rose Park Hotel there in Auckland. So it was attended by people from all over the Indo-Pacific region, which normally you think of as India, Southeast Asia, and of course Australia, New Zealand. But we had people coming from as far away as uh, Brazil, Argentina, the US, France. So uh, the region is being redefined, it seems. But it was a beautiful conference, a lot of good energy and a lot of good thoughts that came about. Wonderful speakers and presenters also. So get a chance to show you some things with that. Uh, while in New Zealand, stayed on and did some uh, touring with the different groups there, so got a chance to actually visit with the two groups, one in, uh, two of the groups, one of them in Wellington and the other one in Christchurch. Uh, probably many of you are aware that in 2011, Christchurch was devastated by a very severe earthquake. Uh, they're still in the rebuilding process there in the city, and signs of this earthquake are quite evident everywhere you look. Theosophical Society did not go unaffected by that, uh, as its long-time beautiful, uh, beautiful building that it occupied uh, was so severely damaged that it had, to be, uh, it had to be demolished. So they have plans to rebuild, but get a chance to show you some things about that. Back here at Adyar, uh, we had a number of visitors coming through and a number of different uh, renovation works going on, so we'll show you a few things related to those projects. All right, so a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to see. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoy it. So the early part of the month took us to Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, for the 13th Triennial Indo-Pacific Federation meeting. It was held this year. It rotates throughout the Indo-Pacific area. Last year, last time it was in Bali, three years ago. But the registration actually was over-registered for this year's event. They didn't anticipate as many people as they ended up getting, judging by past years, but they had to close down registration. So Australia, New Zealand, the Singaporeans were all there. Uh, good representation from all over. They had the prayers of the religions to begin the program in the evening, and then a few greetings from various of us from uh, different places around the world and also uh, in the Indo-Pacific region. After the opening, it was a time for uh, extensive conversation and catching up among people from all over the region. We had a number of featured speakers at this particular one. Dorothy Bell from Australia was uh, one of our featured presenters. The event was held at the beautiful Rose Park Hotel and each day we had our meals overlooking Rose Park itself. Uh, some of the roses were actually in bloom. A lot of the business took place at the nearby coffee shop. Each morning started with meditation, always well attended, and then it would go on to the various programs of the day crowd in attendance. Our Singaporeans wore the green shirts for all of them, so you saw a sea of green on day one. There were 17 people who came from Singapore, uh, about the same number that came from India. We had an invasion of uh, Brazilians, new definition for Indo-Pacific, and we had some people from Argentina as well as France and the U.S. So presentations were given by myself, uh, Pedro Oliveira from uh, Australia, Vikhao Chin gave an in-depth presentation about applied theosophy, and Sonny Chung gave one of the most impressive lectures about the, the Mahatma letters that I have heard to date. Linda Oliveira, Jacques Manique, uh, all were there. Uh, we also had Anya from uh, president of the section on Malaysia, and we had Michelle from Indonesia. So there was a panel that was adjourned, that was convened of TOS members. 
and we had a day to actually have an outing to see some of the beautiful city of Auckland. It's quite an impressive city and the end of the tour brought us to the Auckland Lodge and in that particular evening a special program where Dorothy Bell from Australia was to be the presenter. It was a packed house, of course. This is where the Auckland Lodge shares the space with the New Zealand National Headquarters. A beautiful building which was built uh, around 20 years ago. Many, many people, not just from the convention, but uh, also from the New Zealand area were able to attend and hear a wonderful talk on getting to the heart of the matter. Uh, Dorothy is always quite challenging uh, and practical at the same time. But a few of the people attending from India and also Dr. Victor Gaston who was there for the science conference. And outgoing president John Borstemann handed over the reins to Gerard Brennan who will be the president of the IPC for the next three years. Just a brief greeting from some of the members gathered to the world at large for one of our music evenings of which there were two very, very high-level evenings. I'll let you just judge for yourself. In addition to music, there was inspirational poetry and also a theatrical and dramatic enactment of the po long poem of the about the highwaymen. And then there were the Bangalore cousins, shown here, who had the place up rocking two nights in a row. Don't believe me? Just look for yourself. <laughs> So the final program was a panel, one of the more impressive panels I've participated in with Linda Oliveira, Vic Hao Chin, Dorothy Bell, and John Vorstman before it was time to say our farewells to all of the many friends from around the Indo-Pacific region uh, until we meet again uh, three years hence. Next time is going to be held actually in Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur will be the, the, uh, the destination for the one in 2019. So a shot of the group. Wonderful group it was. So with the close of the conference, it was we dropped our things off at the New Zealand uh, section's headquarters, Vasanta House, beautiful building. They've been there for many, many years. Vasanta, of course, is an Indian way of saying Besant. Uh, so from there, we went on for the rarest of rare things, which is to say some actual downtime and tourism, which took us to Hobbiton, which is uh, the recreation. It's actually the space where the Hobbit movies were filmed. Uh, beautiful just the landscape itself, but then the director, Peter Jackson's attention to all of the details for this Lord of the Rings was absolutely incredible. Things that he put in the movie for just a matter of seconds, he paid specific attention to. We traveled with Renee and Richard Sell, as well as Dorothy Bell, who were all the traveling buddies on this tour. This tree to the left is, it looks very, very nice, but it was something that was in three seconds in the movie. It's an artificial concrete steel, 200,000 artificial leaves were put onto it for three seconds in the movie. I told you about detail. So that from there we went to onto Rotorua and uh, walked in the top of the redwoods along these rope bridges. Beautiful experience in the deep, quiet forest uh, around the area there huge ferns uh, the size of trees. And then it was on to the Waiotapu geothermal area with boiling uh, mud pits. The uh, water comes up from beneath, heated in the earth, and amazing things you, you see while you're there. While we were traveling, it happened to fall on my birthday, so I had a chance to celebrate at uh, high tea 
with good friends, so that was always、uh, something good. Good friends and good food. So then from Auckland, it was on to visit with the Wellington Group,、uh, which is still on the same on the North Island.、Uh, Alan Morris is the president there and was our host. Also stopped in at the Wellington Theosophical Society's building. Lovely place, right in the heart of downtown、uh, Wellington, and visit with some of、uh, some of the members there who showed us around. Beautiful spot. They've been there for quite a while. The evening program was held at、uh, Massey University, right there in downtown、uh, Wellington. A, a lovely location. A large hall had been arranged for us by、uh, one of the professors there. Uh, Alan did all the introductions, and then I had a chance to speak to the people there. We ended up going to some very good conversations with some younger members who had、uh, not members, but younger people from the college who had come. One of them, who was、uh, listening very closely, the gentleman on the right, he was drawing during the course of it, and this is what he was drawing: a picture of me, and then some words that struck out, stuck out to him. Bernice Croft, who had been at Adyar for many, many years, also attended. From there, was leaving Wellington's airport on the way to Christchurch. Wellington's airport, they say, "Welcome to Middle Earth," and of course, Gandalf and the big birds that he flew on are included. So, from Wellington, he was on to the South Island and Christchurch. Christchurch in 2011 was hit by a devastating earthquake, and you still see the signs of it. Theosophical Society was affected. This was their building at that time. Now, this is what remains. The whole building had to be taken down because it was so severely damaged. But they are doing quite well now. Alistair Murray is the president there, and、uh, arranged for this、uh, talk at the hotel where we stayed. So it was a good turnout of people, and got a chance again to talk about some. Very, very important issues to all of us, and good question and answers thereafter. From Auckland, it was back to Chennai and to Adyar, where two volunteers from Russia had been working in our archives.、Uh, closer to you is Pavel Malakov and then Oleg Bolderev. They'd been working on the Russian aspects of our、uh, of our archives, specifically working closely with. HPB scrapbooks, and here you can see some of the problems that are encountered with some of the damage to the scrapbooks themselves. At the headquarters building, we have started grinding out the madras tile and regrouting them. We've had water、uh, water problems, and this is one of the things that we've started to do now in terms of renovation. Just a glimpse of some of our volunteers: Shirley Penn from the UK, and Helmut Vandermessen. Who has been with us from Belgium? So I leave you with these wise words, which I think many of you may find particularly appropriate for this time.